Now, this is going to be a rough night in the metro area. Showers and storms building in and through. These are severe storms that are now over Metro St. Louis. Potential for damaging winds, large hail. And we're also watching for the potential for turn tornadoes as the system builds in toward downtown St. Louis. Here's our standard wide view, and it is lit up with showers and storms. And I want to first zoom in to the thunderstorm. That is a worn storm that's now moving into the 270 255 loop of Metro St. Louis. You see the outline here of the warning. This is a warren storm until 1145. The wave of energy that's now pushing into the western parts of St. Louis County has had a history of some minor rotation right in through there. Let me stop the Doppler here and you can see that zone. It's now moving up that 44 corridor toward 141 toward Eureka through Pacific and in into the Fenton area. So this part of the thunderstorm is quite strong. Some gusts of wind and maybe even some mid-level rotation building toward Metro St. Louis. That is the immediate concern for the metropolitan area, at least at the moment. But back down the road, you can see there are more thunderstorm warnings lined up through Franklin County and then back into southwestern Missouri. It's within that 44 corridor where the storms continue to build up. That Franklin County wave of thunderstorms as it moves in toward Metro St. Louis also could have some damaging winds and maybe some mid-level rotation. So these waves of thunderstorms will continue for the next several hours. A new tornado watch has been posted for the bi-state area, especially for what is happening right now southwest of the metro area. We have a large confirmed tornado that's on the ground just north of Springfield, Missouri. That storm energy is rolling toward eastern Missouri. It may track just a little south of Metro St. Louis, but obviously when you're getting that kind of thunderstorm energy building in from the south and west, the tornado threat for us in the metro area will continue to be quite high. So you see the current warnings and the current watch. Again, the watch has been extended through Metro St. Louis until 3 a.m. as storm warnings now continue to get fired up along that 44 corridor and thunderstorms again severe and tornadic down near Springfield, Missouri. It's in that zone where we're going to continue to see development of these strong and severe storms. All of the issues are in play tonight, not just the heavy downpours, the lightning and thunder that we're experiencing right now in Metro St. Louis, but large hail, damaging winds, maybe up to 70 miles an hour, and also the threat of tornadoes through the evening. So these storms are not yawning storms. These are major players as they're working up that 44 corridor toward the metro area. Let's check in with our extreme weather specialist. He's kind of been out ahead of all of these thunderstorms tonight and at times in them. Here's Chris Higgins in the Woods Basement System Storm Runner. Chris. Ahead of them, behind them, in them, and that's where we are right now, Glenn. We're on Interstate 44. We were in the heart of this storm, this latest severe thunderstorm worn cell as it rolled into Union. Didn't have a whole lot of wind. We had incredible rain, blinding rain, as we were trying to get out of Union with that storm coming on Highway 50. And we're now kind of tailing the backside of the storm, making our way up I-44. And we have had some wind gusts. My driver, Wyatt, telling me a couple of times he's needed 10 and 2 on the steering wheel because we have had some pretty strong wind gusts behind the leading edge of the storm. Right now, it is just pounding rain, lightning and thunder, big puddles along Interstate 44 as we work our way towards Six Flags. Uh, but the wind has picked up considerably back here on the this side of the storm, and it's that part along I-44 that's sweeping northeast, kind of along that old boundary you talked about earlier, where we're watching for possibly that mid-level rotation and maybe some new rotation trying to develop from the ground up. But at this stage of the game, this part of the storm, we haven't been able to witness that. Just the strong winds, little bit of hail, and a lot, a lot of rain working east along I-44. This is moving right up into St. Louis County, and we'll be under it and on top of it as it moves your way. Reporting live in the Woods Basement System Storm Runner, that's all I have for right now. Let's send it back to you guys and to John Fuller, who's up next with uh, his update. Yeah, Chris, we're in the Chesterfield area near Clarkson and the Chesterfield Parkway. And here's what we have, a quick uh, 
check of the storm report here. Down tree branches varying in size, most small, one large sagging power lines as a result. And as I speak, the power went out just nearby and torrential wind-driven rain in the area. Here's a closer view of that particular uh, branch down and uh, sagging on power lines nearby. Haven't be able, been able to find that particular uh, branch that is sagging onto the power lines, but earlier this evening we had one and three quarter inch size hail. Check out the updraft necessary for you to see a, a one and three quarter inch size hail. It has to be a 60 to 70 mile per hour updraft that we had for that golf ball size hail in the Chesterfield Valley area. Some damage to uh, vehicles down in that uh, vicinity. Reporting live from uh, Chesterfield near Clarkson and the Chesterfield Parkway, I'm meteorologist John Fuller.